I knew if I can succeed in Serbia with podcast and that Today we are starting our first official vlog, but before that I just want to share with you what happened last night when I asked my wife, do you think I can do this in English? Because as you can see and hear, uh, I'm not sure how to use grammar right and I don't know how do I sound to you, is my accent something that you can understand or it's, it's hard for you? So you can let me know in the comments because... I will read them, at least at first few vlogs, after that I will be like, I don't care about your comments, <clears throat> I'm just kidding, I will continue reading your, your comments for sure. So, what do you think? Can I do this in English? My wife is light here, and I'm trying to get her to be in my vlog, but... She don't think I can do this in English. Why? She's very cooperative right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be interesting if you actually end up doing this. I, I think so too. Honestly, the only reason why I wanna do it is just because you you know I saw, I told you this so many times, but I just wanna have memories of the moments. And now I feel like this is the time. Yeah. But this whole thing started because Emily asked me a few days ago in a very polite way, what are you doing on your days off? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I don't know, I feel stuck, I don't know what to do. But since we moved here, I wanted to start filming. Mm -hmm. But I just didn't, because my English was bad, but now when I'm fluent 100%. <laughs> <laughs> kind of close, getting closer. If you can understand me, like and subscribe, so we'll see how many subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> so. To be honest with you, I'm not really sure what we are going to do but I will tell you my story why I end up here California what happened and what I was doing before I moved here okay let's start so first thing we are going to the CVS or Walmart because my head is killing me right now then we'll see. I need a knife for this stuff. I always see these YouTubers having like knives in their pocket and I was like, why do you need, need a knife? But then, I guess if I wanna be a YouTuber, knife is necessary. One that we need today outside is extremely hot extremely it's hot so I don't know what 
Okay. Okay, guys. Now I'm gonna do this. I I don't know what I'm doing, but I have a doctor over here. <laughs> okay. Yes. Open your mouth. Don't swallow anything. If okay. it comes out through your mouth, spit it out. Okay. And you're gonna you're gonna squeeze it gently, okay. and it's gonna come out the other nostril. Open your mouth. Don't stop breathing. Squeeze. It was more uncomfortable. I'm alive. Do you have kids? Did I give you the card? Give me the card. Put the card right here. So my head is already better. I don't know how. I don't know is it my mind or but. I'm happy when it works, I'm not questioning how. Well, I figured out that we are halfway of this vlog and I still didn't tell you my name and I didn't introduce myself. So, my name is Ivan and everyone here calls me Ivan, which I'm getting used to, but I would appreciate even more. But then, at the same time, Ivan is okay. So, my name is Ivan or Ivan. I'm Serbian, but now I'm living in California. I'm a podcaster, author of three books, and I'm a huge fan of great stories. That's why I started my podcast in 2019 because I want to interview other people. I want to learn from their minds. I want to learn from their experience and from their stories. That's why we started in 2019 and by today we have 60,000 followers on our Serbian channel. This new channel will be obviously about my life in a new country. Well, for now, we will see where we are going with this. But today I want to talk to you about some strange feelings. This is probably the first time in my life that I'm trying to do something that I know from the beginning that I'm not good at. And that's obviously my English. And it's not just that, I, that I'm thinking that you are going to laugh at my English, but it's just that strange feeling that I have that I'm not going to be good enough. And that fear is very powerful, it's very talkative to me. It's just like a, I'm constantly hearing that voice. I'm not yet used to that. And like I said, it's a very strange feeling. But if you stay with me and if you subscribe to this channel, and this is not me trying to buy more subscribers, but I really want to tell you what's, what's going on over there. I'm going to share all tools, advices, and my personal experience that I got in the last 10 years doing podcasting, dancing for over 17 years, traveling around Europe, uh, publishing three books, talking with incredible, amazing and inspiring people. And now I'm here. Now I have a fresh start. Now, 10 years later, I found myself in a country that everything is different. That there is no one thing that I can say, oh, this is similar. I mean, we are still people, like I'm human, you're human. Are you human? Do I have to do the robot thing? Okay, now when we know you're a human. But seriously, we are the same in one way, but we are completely different in every other way. And that's what I found to be most interesting. And that's why I figured out that my call is to do podcasting and to share my knowledge and to share everything that I found out by now with you guys. This is, this is the point of this vlog. 
It can be very scary to start something different in life. And yes, I'm still afraid, but it's kind of feel good doing this. Just actually doing it. Not overthinking about it, not uh, imagining what would look like and not worried about do I sound bad? Do I sound good? Am I saying this correctly? Or I don't know. It just like feels good to actually sit down and just do the job. And I know fear tells you, you cannot do it. You're not good enough. Stay where you are. Don't try something new. You cannot do it. But you are the only person who knows that you actually can do it. And that's how I feel right now. And this is why this is very interesting feeling to me. But yeah, so despite all the fears and everything that I've, I've been telling myself for the last 10 months, because yeah, this idea is in my mind for over 10 months. And if you know me, obviously you probably don't know me, but let's imagine you know me, you will know that I cannot wait 10 minutes to start doing something if I feel, oh, this, this might be good, this might be interesting, you know, this is my serious voice right now. But seriously, guys, if you stayed with me up until now and you're still watching, thank you so much. This, this, this maybe looks like a no big deal and I will definitely laugh at that at some point in my future, which I cannot wait to happen. But th th this was like a, a big step for me and I'm, I'm glad I did it. And I hope if you have any fears right now that this video can show you that you can, you can try at least. And I don't like that, oh, there is no try, do or something. No, try. How, how are you gonna figure out what you love to do if you don't try and do stuff and then, oh, I had this, oh, I love this. How, how do you know, is, it, is this fear something realistic or it's just like imagination? If you don't try it, there is nothing, like, there is that kind of pressing that we cannot make any mistakes, but we are humans. And it's very interesting that every successful person on earth today tells you, Oh, make a mistake, make a mistake. But then we, we, we just don't want to try it. So try it. Even if your English is not good, just, just try it. This sounds like opposite of Nike. Just do it, just try it. me ah hello so before we moved to California I was thinking that every day of my life here will be at the beach but to be honest I was here maybe 10 times maybe less but we are going to make it a habit coming here so you can see this beautiful beach every time or almost every time in this vlog and I cannot promise that but I will try for you guys I will come here more often for you 